A 2018 report from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute reports that the total worldwide inventory of nuclear weapons stands at 14,465. Mutually assured destruction is a military strategy in which a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two or more opposing sides would cause the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. So why do we need nearly 15,000 of them? How many different ways can the human race find to attack and then annihilate each other? Does your life ever feel under attack? as if the enemy never stops finding new ways to defeat and annihilate you. While I pray this guided audio meditation from Isaiah chapter 54 will help you find assurance that your enemies will stay far away, that you will live in peace and terror will not come near, that whoever or whatever attacks you will go down in defeat. This time we have together is a divine sanctuary for your mind to settle, your breathing to relax, and your eyes to close softly. So for this next moment, just be still as you release yourself to the protection of the Holy Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Start by listening and then joining in this responsive reading and prayer from Romans chapter 8. And as I lead us, respond, Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. And may the Lord bless the hearing and reading of his word. For I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. For I am sure that neither things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, will be able to separate us from the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. For I am sure that neither anything else in all of creation, absolutely nothing, can get between us and God's love because of the way Jesus, our Master, has embraced us. So, Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. Spend a few moments now in silent prayer, just calling on Him, calling on God in humility and truth calling for his help and protection. Continue in silent prayer as you take note of God in and around you. How are you aware of his security right now? How are you being safeguarded and protected by the divine presence? Even take note of your posture before God. Consider kneeling if you can or resting your face in your hands in a moment of reverence and surrender. As you center on his holy protection, does your mind drift back to your own self-protection? 
the thoughts of how you may be better able than God to defeat all that turns against you. How has that worked for you in the past? Those thoughts are natural, but allow the awareness to center you back to His power and His protection in your times of trouble. Scan your body and mind for any thoughts or feelings blocking you from submitting to His protection. What emotions are keeping you from hiding behind the strong shield of God? Whisper once more, Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me and allow the words to become your centering prayer. Center two on your breathing. As the stillness continues, become even more deeply aware of God alert to his spirit and mindful of Christ through this simple act of your breathing with your eyes closed take several deep breaths in through your nose from your belly hold it for a moment and now slowly release it by blowing it out through your mouth each breath a gift of God none by your own accomplishments to stay centered on your breathing in the sacred words, Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. Continue as God's word prepares you to be transformed. Listen for life application as I read from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17 from the New American Standard Bible. Oh, my dear friend, I know it is tempting to fight alone against the enemies that attack you, but remember that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is your heritage as a servant of the Lord, your vindication is from the Lord where was your attention drawn as you listened well listen once more from God's holy word no weapon that is formed against you will prosper and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is from me declares the Lord what image was painted in your mind will allow this next minute to be a time to rest behind the shield of God, protected from all the world has to attack you. Listen once more, but consider it now from a wider passage as you listen from the New Living Translation. Your enemies will stay far away. You will live in peace and terror will not come near. If any nation comes to fight you, it is not because I sent them. Whoever attacks you will go down in defeat. 
I have created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the forge and makes the weapons of destruction. And I have created the armies that destroy. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. What do you think you need to learn from this passage? Well, let that be your continuing contemplation for another minute longer. In this third reading, let the words guide you to a deeper application as you listen once again now from the Amplified Version. No weapon that is formed against you will succeed, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you will condemn. This peace and righteousness, security and triumph over opposition is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What are you longing for in your relationship with God? What do you need protection from? Well, let these reflections move you now into a time of prayer. Prayer for the protection and shielding of God. Every time I read this passage, I can't help but hear the Brooklyn Tabernacle singing the hymn, But Thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. So while resting in imaginative contemplation, I want you to see yourself back on the battlefield, hiding in the muck and the mire of war, hiding behind a small stone wall to shield you, You're afraid to even open your eyes. You can relate to that moment, can't you? In your own time of war, the battles you're in, raging around you. But now in the midst, feel the hand of God sliding over your head, Christ's hand sliding down the side of your face. Feel it as he lifts your face towards his, wiping away tears, your eyes open and slowly you stand as his arms embrace you yes the battle rages but the Holy Spirit shields you as the divine embrace grows tighter let this minute be a time of reflection as you sink into the open shielding arms of God
Rest here in closing, centering on the strength of God during your times of trouble. And don't be burdened by the pressing thoughts of skirmishes around you, but rather celebrate them. They are meant to bring you closer to God and remind you of His protection. And be mindful, too, of moments that God may use you to help Him protect another. Look around. Who around you is in need of God's divine protection and care? Now receive this prayer of benediction to remember that no weapon formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is your heritage as a servant of the Lord. Your justification is from the Lord. And may you know the loving arms of Christ, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and encounter the protection of God as you whisper without ending, Lord God, defeat anything that turns against me. Now glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever will be. Amen.